so uh, I wanted to talk a, a little bit about um, dressing for a long distance trip like this. If you're going to be um, doing long stretches of driving where it's cold and uh, different kinds of weather, snow, rain, whatever. So you can see right now I've got a, basically I'm dressed like I'm going skiing or hiking in the mountains. So I'm wearing a lot of uh, outdoor alpine or mountaineering apparel. Um, so my feet, I don't know if you can see them, I've got um, hiking boots on and uh, wool socks. So, and I could have worn something more comfortable for in the car, but when it's snowing outside, I don't want to have to change my shoes and stuff um, if I'm going to be stepping out in the snow. So I'm just wearing boots. And then my pants are um, uh, Eddie Bauer First Ascent uh, Guide Pro pants. Um, they've got a um, watershed encoding. Uh, they're super comfortable. Um, they fit sort of trim, so they're not too baggy, but they're very, very comfortable, uh, which is key when you're on a long trip. And again, if I get out and it's raining or something, I'm not going to get that wet because, you know, these are designed for being outside. Um, and yet they're also uh, cool temperature-wise and uh, also uh, pretty thin and lightweight. So, and then since we're trying to minimize using the heater, while I'm getting used to how much charge to use, um, I have a uh, thermal um, merino wool layer underneath the pants, which really helps. Um, and then on top, so, just got a regular shirt underneath, but then I have a, uh, it's actually a mountaineering, again, Eddie Bauer first descent line. Uh, fleece, which is very comfortable, very warm, and again, sort of a, a close fit. Um, you know, driving is kind of, I wouldn't say it's athletic, but it's it, its sort of an active activity, I guess, or sport in a way. So having comfortable, lightweight um, uh, clothing that doesn't inhibit you is, I find, really nice um, for driving, especially if you're going to be getting in and out. Uh, of the car um, and then on top of that I've got a lightweight um, down coat um, again by Eddie Bauer their first ascent line I think it's a uh, it's like 800 fill down very lightweight very comfortable but also very warm and um, down is very breathable so um, you don't get stuffy in it unless it's really warm so and then outside of that I have a uh, Marmot Gore-Tex outer rain shell. So you could have one giant coat that combines like the insulation and the rain wear, but I don't want to be wearing a you know one giant coat while I'm driving. So the layered approach has worked super well on this trip because I can either wear the fleece or the down coat as well um, when we're in the car and it's kind of cold. Both those layers are very comfortable and easy to move around in and then if I have to get out while it's wet um, right now it's kind of snow slash rain so I wouldn't want to get my down coat wet even though it probably wouldn't matter just dry out but um, so I just throw on my my shell um, you know when I'm getting out to charge it or we're walking to somewhere to eat and um, yeah makes it really convenient so basically if you dress for an active comfortable outing um, then you'll be good to go on a, on a long road trip so and when, when you get mountaineering clothes and stuff like that uh, the weight of the garments is really key and so they're designed to be lightweight and often very uh, packable so they don't take much space in your car so um, I mean I don't do mountain climbing but um, I find the gear is or at least the apparel is super helpful. And then of course, of course you want to have gloves. Um, even a light pair can prevent some frostbite, although it's, it's good to have a light pair. If you're really going hardcore, um, not using heat in the car, uh, you're gonna want a pair that's comfortable that you can drive with. And if it's really cold out, you might want a thicker pair. I just brought my light ones, since I'm not gonna be outdoors 
that much in between driving stints. So anyway, that's my um, that's my uh, I don't know apparel equipment uh, for this trip. And this is the last day. Today we're going to be arriving. Our last supercharger is Truckee in the Sierras, um, and then our destination is just a little bit beyond that. So, uh, yeah, there you go. There's a driving tip for you. Mountaineering lightweight apparel. Be comfortable, be warm, be dry. One more thing I wanted to mention about um, uh, so, sort of a, a rain jacket that you would bring in the car. If you go the, the shell route, um, or even if you don't, in other words, getting a, a hard outer shell that's not insulated that you can put over um, other warm layers, um, I recommend either you know, keeping, uh, refreshing the uh, water repellent coating on the jacket or making sure, you know, you replace your jacket, you know, every couple years or something because um, right here, okay, so you'll notice where the water is kind of soaked in, that's called wetting out um, and on, on my jacket that's where the sleeves are. That, that can happen as the coating wears off, the repellent coating, or if the garment is dirty or something, um, so that's why it's not surprising to have it at the cuff. But you don't want your garment as a whole to do that because what you want it to do is when there's moisture on the outside, even water droplets, you want to, um, well, okay, see that? I gotta use my other hand to shake it. But basically, if I just brush or shake the, the jacket off, the moisture and the water droplets are off and that's super convenient because whatever you can shake off outside as you get in the car is not going to get transferred onto your seat whether it's leather um, or just whatever seat cover uh, which you know you don't want to be sitting in water droplets for the rest of your trip so having a having a coat that you can just shake the water droplets off and again that the, the key to that is um, just having a good uh, DWR or durable water repellent coating and you can, if it's not doing that you can get some products uh, like Nick Wax and um, I can't remember the other one um, I've tried some of them they don't work as great as the factory uh, applied DWRs um, but anyway all that to say having a good shell that you can just brush the water off right before you get in the car to avoid bringing that water into the car is uh, is really nice. So there's another travel trip. Be warm, be dry, be comfortable.